Hey everybody, Steve here, and here's all the stories we're following from the AFR News Desk for March 24th, 2015. Our lead story this week comes from over at Play.com, where yesterday they put out their monthly newsletter, and the big story in that newsletter was all of the exciting upcoming additions for their History Maker baseball game. On the 30th of this month, they're going to be putting out a brand new base game that will include new game boards and a new game booklet that will be on a thicker card stock. And also they'll be releasing the 2014 Pro Season set and also the 2015 Fictional Baseball America set. And another great news story for History Maker Baseball coming out on April 13th. They're going to put out another special set of cards, and this is going to be an all-star special set. It's going to feature the same formatting that was used on last year's all-time franchise great set and the Kickstarter exclusive Hall of Fame set, and it'll feature the top players from all of the Major League teams from last season. This looks like a really great new set. It's going to be on a thicker cardstock with a semi-gloss finish, so it'll look really great on your table, and we're definitely looking forward to some more exciting baseball gaming with History Maker Baseball. The Kickstarter campaign that we've been following from Dice Hate Me Games, their bottom of the ninth, it's in its last couple of days. It's going to end this Thursday, and they have reached all of their stretch goals. So if you were holding off, for the final stretch goals to be unlocked. Now is the time to head on over there and make your pledge for that game. It's just $20 and it's due to be released this October. Over at Stratomatic, they're having another spring training sale. This week they're offering 25% off the 1965 and the 2010 baseball card sets. And now let's take a look at new releases. Sticking with the baseball theme first here, the 2015 fictional Continental Baseball League for Sideline Strategies and PT Games Payoff Pitch Baseball has been released. This is an update to last year's fictional set that was very well received by the community. The 1977 and 1988 seasons are now available for Inside Pitch by Inside Sports and some exciting releases that are available on the ASG Games page. First from Hot Stove Games, the 2014 Women's Super 32 season set for their Rally Point Volleyball game is now out. And also, all of the 1990s Final Four team sets are available for College Basketball 2000. And finally, the 1969-1970 season is available for Atba Hockey. And now it's time for the question of the week. So last week on the show, I asked everybody if they felt that some of these new releases that are coming out with sports-themed games would lead people to try out sports simulations. There were a lot of great comments. Thank you to everybody that left their thoughts. And the there was a couple of recurring themes. One of them was that the quality of the components in the sports simulation games would need to be improved for them to get a better reception in the general board gaming public. And also just uh, the general knowledge that these games actually exist. A lot of people thought that it's something that's never going to happen, that sports simulations is going to stay a niche industry. And while I think that that's partly true, I think that just in general how much the board game industry is exploding that I really feel like within the next couple of years you're going to see a really large release from a well-known publisher that's going to be a sports game that's going to kind of bridge the gap between a sports simulation and then a sports recreation kind of game. I'm not sure who will do it but I really feel like there's a lot of momentum building up with a couple of the recent releases that are coming out and somebody's going to take a chance one of these days to put out a, a big sports game release. For this week's question, it was actually submitted by a viewer, and that is, what is a good first sports simulation for a child? Now, for me, I have two young daughters. One's just about to turn five, and one is one and a half, so I haven't, I haven't broached... Uh, 
having them play any sports simulation games, although that's coming. But I feel like a game that would be really great to introduce to maybe a child that's around 8 or 9 would probably be something either at the baseball, the basic version, or I really feel like the History Maker Baseball would be something you could easily show to a child just because there's not a lot of numbers involved in it and it's a real quick game to, to set up and play. I'm sure that there's some others out there and I'm really interested in hearing all your thoughts and actually I'd like to even know anybody's success I guess or failure stories about introducing sports simulation games to their child. As always we'll highlight some of the comments on next week's show. Thank you to everybody that leaves their thoughts. And now it's time for channel updates. So over the past weekend I was going to get out a review or two but unfortunately the stomach bug went through the tower household and now I'm taking my turn with it so it's kind of pushed back all the uh, reviews that I had planned but the next game I'll be doing is Baseball Highlights 2045 by Eagle Griffin Games and then I'll be doing Hoops Tabletop Pro Basketball and then just today I got my copy of Atba Soccer so that will be the next game down the line and look for all those reviews to be out over the next month and a half or so Otherwise, be sure to tune in every Tuesday night for all of the sports board game news. Alright guys, that's all for now. Thank you for watching. My name's Steve, and I'll see you next time after further reviews.